and welcome back to another stormy day in The Witcher 3. In yesterday's video, we did continue to explore, wrap up some side quests, vis visited a cemetery. And in today's video, we're going to probably do a little bit more of the same. We might get to the point to where we do start the main quest, but uh, we'll see. I'm a little nervous on how many cutscenes are going to be involved. So we'll, we'll see how all that goes. So first things first, I want to finish these last two question marks over here. And then I want to head back to town to do some shopping, some selling, some crafting. I've got two new sword recipes that I really want to make, so I want to get that done. I also want to try, if I can afford it, I want to buy some Gwent cards because I think I know which ones I need to get. Um, it's very it's very difficult to figure out what I'm missing, but I'll, I'm going to do the best I can to keep up with it because it was a pretty, it wasn't a bad game. I don't know how much I'm going to love it, but it wasn't bad. So it's worth, it's worth continuing to try. Okay, I've got a monster's nest up here. Place of power. And a place of power. Should draw from it. But what let's... now, you piece of metal? That can't possibly be it, is it? Hmm. I have bombs on cool me. Nest. Ought to just destroy it. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. That is off of my to-do list. Oh, poor guy. Should not come up here to deal with ghouls. Oh, there's a big ghoul. Let's all just burn you. <laughs> and Al Ghoul Bone Marrow. Well, let's meditate at this place of power. Another ability point, which is excellent. I'm gonna hang on to them for a minute just in case um, I have some more free slots that I can deal with. <laughs> free slots being, well, there's no quick way to get to it very easily. I need another one of these to free up before I can start putting points into other stuff, basically. I could take off this delusion, but I don't wanna. I hate swapping things out. It's very annoying. I know I'm probably going to have to do it, but that's that's a worry for a future date. All right, so I am going to head back into the village area down here. Oh, way, da way down here. I'm going to head back here. I'm going to sell items. I'm going to try and make some swords. I'm going to try and buy some Gwent cards, and I'm going to do all of that off camera, probably unless something exciting should happen. But if nothing exciting does happen, then I'm going to meet you back up here so we can work on this precious cargo quest. So I will be back momentarily for you. All right, 15 minutes later, I'm finally done and back up by the quest area. So I did empty my bags as much as possible. I even stored some stuff into my storage. Obviously, that's what that means. Uh, but unfortunately, the dwarf can't make swords. So that stinks but he could repair my swords that i'm currently equipped with and i believe i got all the gwent cards that i need to from white orchard because it's no longer on the list here so a so number of new cards which can still be won from players 47 so that's that's i'm guessing that means i have to do at least 47 gwent matches so like i said i'm going to try to collect the cards and try to get gwent or try to do the gwent games but um I don't know how much of it I'll do on camera and off camera. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, oh, but anyway, we are back by the quest Precious Cargo. This was where we ran into the merchant and he said he was attacked by a monster or something. So we're gonna get out our monster sword and use our witcher senses to see what's going on. There's the cart. Cart rode off into the swamp. Yeah. Let's look over here first. Barrels that I can blow up. <laughs> That's never gonna get old. I wish I could like find a way to be useful with it, but I don't think I'm quite that talented. <laughs> oh, what's over here? More things over here. Oh, more uh, smoke. Hmm. <coughs> yes, yes, we're getting out of the area for it. Oh. Found some drowners. Oh, 
Ugh. I gotta figure out, uh, <laughs> I know. I need to figure out what talents I need to get or ability points I need to use to make it so that my <sighs> Witcher signs bar loads faster. So right now I get to use it every once in a while. Okay, let's eat, let's drink something and have a dumpling. I like my dumplings. <laughs> okay. Anything over here? So how did these houses just sink into the ground? Or are these monster related destruction or war related destruction, I wonder? My spacebar is so loud, I'm fully aware. <laughs> but I like my keyboard, even if it is loud. It. Okay, that's where I need to go for the quest to the Lilac and Gooseberries quest. But let's try to come over here. Take care of more drowners. Oh, that's weird. Drowner brains, such familiar objects. <laughs> Okay. Well, that sounded disgusting. So the car was over here. So. Hmm. Here's the cart. Ah, okay. Alchemist powder. Carts riddled with arrows. Interesting. I should take a look around. I thought he said it was monsters who did all that to him. I don't think Carts drowners. With arrows. I don't think uh, drowners carry around bows and arrows. There's still more loot. Can I get it? An arrow. Didn't mention this. No, he didn't. There's something over here. Square in the neck. Good shot. Either the merchant's got serious memory problems, or he's lying. You think? You think he's lying? Locked strong box. Must be that box he mentioned. Splattered with blood. Human blood. Return the box to the merchant. I don't know if I want to. Like... I think he was... He had a bow and arrow equipped. When I looked at... Um... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, wrong button. My bad. Oh. I hope I got out my sword and didn't just use my fists. Okay. All right, well, let's pick flowers and kill drowners. And then we will head back. Maybe I'll get to pick the flowers. I want to pick flowers and the loot. And head back to the, quote, merchant. I feel like, like his title should be Bandit, perhaps? Maybe? Let's save, though. Okay. Ah, he is nearby. Let's put away the sword. And then we'll talk to this merchant. Oh, and you find the box? Mm hmm but I've seen through your lies, sir. Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! 
<laughs> There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar. Oh, knock the merchant off his horse? Oh, crap. Uh, Roach, come here. We need to catch up with this guy. Um. Oh, I failed it? Really? Slow now. Seemingly straightforward stories often turn out to be anything but. The Witcher found the merchant's cart and beside it signs of a malicious attack organized by human hands. It seemed the merchant had not told Geralt the whole truth. The confrontation that followed confirmed the Witcher's suspicion. Rather than stay to plead his innocence, the merchant immediately ran as far as his legs could take him. Geralt chased after the lion merchant, but the scoundrel managed to give him the slip. He never did find out what really happened out there in the murky swamps of White Orchard. Oh, well... <laughs> Well, that sucks. My load, like it was sitting there on the loading screen for a good, like, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds. That never usually happens. But. Slow now, whoa. Well, that stinks, but I mean, I guess I could reload, but I don't know if I want to. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll worry about it later. I doubt it's gonna give me some epic treasure reward that I'm, I can't live without. So, I think that covers everything down here. No more question marks. I feel like I've covered as much as I can. So, why don't we go ahead and head to the Nilfgaardian camp. I am going to run, just in case there's loots or people to talk to along the way. And hopefully, we don't have to have some weird, awkward cut or like a 40-minute video. Because cutscenes in The Witcher, at least, you know, the last two ones, tend to be pretty long. So I did explore all through there and all through there. I think I've been getting my exploration fairly well done. I will come back and do these two. I don't know how I'm gonna get out there. Because I swim. Oh, there's a blacksmith. Oh, do I want to say he can craft weapons? Oh, great. Well, then maybe he can make me my new swords. Because one of the pop-ups with the menus explaining everything said, only certain smiths make certain things, and the dwarf only makes armor. So I doubt I'll get to loot anything here. No, Guardian Garrison. Oh, good, another fast travel point. Oh, a messenger. Hmm. I guess that's it. Anything from soldiers? Step away. All right. Heard of the Vlyhead Brigade? Your kind, sir. Non humans. Wish you guys would stop calling us that. It's very rude, actually. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. <laughs> you look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. <laughs> a witcher? Oh. Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. See, you can be nice. Got work for me? Let's ask if he's got work. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. I'm not sure how to feel about the Guardians. Can I? Okay, let's quick save. Can I? Don't be unreasonable. Okay. Could end badly. Can I? Let's try for science. Ugh. Anything else? Oh, there's more loot. Oh, more money. Leather scraps. I don't think I can make that jump. <laughs> but look at the water. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like Caribbean beautiful ocean water that you just want to go swimming in because it's so warm and inviting. Oh, we made it for science. Yay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's save again in case I piss someone off. And 
it in here. And I, okay, I can pick flowers, apparently. That's acceptable. Just don't loot anything. Soldier, soldier. Oh. Soldier. Where's the smith? Looks like he's here. Quartermaster. Craftsman can craft a variety of items for you. Blacksmith, uh, forge weapons, armors, make armors. Eh, okay. Password. Don't know any. So, out for a little walk here, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we have a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick skulled quartermasters. They got a place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well? Maybe. I like his glasses. <laughs> Those are so cool looking. So how's morale around the camp? Morale holding up around here? You boys think you can win this thing? Ah, a spy after all. <laughs> or one to stir trouble. Neither. Just curious. Right. Well, tell anyone who cares we will win this war, because Radovid is mad. As everyone knows, and we've an extraordinarily well-drilled and well-supplied army. Incidentally, did you wish to buy something? <laughs> uh, well, let me craft something. I'd like you to craft something for me. Okay, so it should be easier this time around. So I have all the parts that I need, so I'm going to... Oh, 104. Jesus, this game is expensive. So let's craft the Viper Sword because this, it's amazingly better. And then the steel sword, which again is amazingly better. And 5% bonus experience for humans and non-humans. That's great. And what was this one? 20% bonus experience for monsters. Awesome. Okay, let's uh, craft this one. I can unpin that. And I think we're done. Right? So, see ya. So long. Let's go to my inventory page and silver sword. Let's equip that one. And then steel sword. Let's equip that one. All right, they look fine, I suppose. Let's see anything else over here before we go up the Bombs. stairs? Oh, enhancing armor. My items have been enhanced. <laughs> okay, that was easy. <laughs> More soldiers. Okay, let's save and go speak to the captain, right? How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. <laughs> Can't argue with your logic. Plan to requisition something for him too. Let's let's be a little sarcastic. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. <laughs> Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Uh, why do you care about the griffin? Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu, 
Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands, or hire a professional. Hmm. Well, it's a deal, I suppose. <laughs> it's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the vulpine woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Hmm. Uh, could use some more information about the griffin? Gotta gather a specific herb. Uh, let's go with the second one first. Maybe I can come back? Need more information about this griffin. It's sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? Uh they won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Apparently I have to gather a specific herb. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm-hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. <laughs> no. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. <laughs> Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Okay. Well, so long, I suppose. Tomira and Mislav. Thanks. Es soon the actin. Okay, your Lilac and Gooseberries is complete. Oh no, I have to complete the Griffin contract. So active quest objectives, if your current quest has more than one objective, you can choose which objective to track. So we need to talk to this hunter and then talk to this herbalist. And then we have another new quest. So, uh, okay, so... Okay, that's not anything new for Lilac and Gooseberry. So the new quest, the Beast of White Orchard. The commander of the Nilfgaardian garrison in White Orchard knew where Yennefer had gone. Shrewdly, he was unwilling to share this information for free. A man with substantial experience, he knew full well Geralt would do anything to find the sorceress. As luck would have it, there was a griffin about, a beast the commander's soldiers had been unable to hunt down. The commander could demand but one thing, the monster's head in exchange for his help. Okay, so we're gonna, I guess, talk to the hunter first. That's fine. Let's see where we're going. We're going somewhere. We're going all the way down there. Well, before we do that, I want to go over here. Um, so let's do that first and see how long that takes. I have to get out of here. I do wonder, so it is interesting because this, this is a... Uh, from what I understand, the, the game company made this is in Poland, so they're Polish. So I wonder, um, and, and even the books were writ whoa, written by uh, a Polish gentleman, if I understand correctly. And I don't know when they were written, but I wonder how much of the influence of Nilfgaard and, and how they act towards the people they conquer um, are similar to when, and I may be remembering incorrectly, like when the Soviet Union had all those satellite states during the Cold War, and if that had any influence on Nilfgaard, because Nilfgaard seems like a peasant is now a general, and it was, from my understanding, and again, I'm, I'm not a history expert, at least not on, you know, Soviet Union and communism history, but I wonder how much is, like, influenced by that, you know, socialism, communism.
Come on. I, I just kind of wonder how how much of an influence all of that was when Poland was a satellite-ish state or part of the, I don't know, the Iron Curtain or something, as it was called. Again, I'm completely talking silly. <laughs> but anyway, let's... Um, Let's head over to this question mark that I'm going the completely wrong way towards. But it was, I don't want to say nice because like, again, they conquered these people, but it was nice to see them say, hey, only give me what you guys can afford. Um, I don't know if they will, but you know, it is what it is at this point. A guarded treasure. You guys just not gonna attack me? Again, are wolves supposed to be steel swords? Oh, God. Dang. Or are they supposed to be witcher swords? It's one of those gray areas I'm not too sure about. Okay. Let's see. We have treasure, ruby dust, ingots. Things I'm clicking through too quick again. All right, that is that one, I think, done. Now, this one is out of the water. I'm assuming I just gotta swim there. But let's save just in case I kill myself. <laughs> oh, look, there's more. Salute. Repair kits, leather straps. All right. Let's, uh, spoils of war marker. Ah, that one there. Look at the waves going on. So cool. All right, I see it. I see lots down there. Let's do a dive. See what we can find. Buckthorn. Um, I want to get it, but I want to make sure I do the quest objectives first, because I want to talk to the herbalist and everything. So worst case scenario, I can come back and get some. But as it's my first time, I want to do it the proper way. And uh, that quest objective is done. Okay. Well, um, I think this might be where I end things for today because we need to go talk to the hunter, which is gonna take probably longer than like 30 seconds or a minute. Um, and then we also need to talk to the herbalist. And I feel like that's a good project for tomorrow. So let me get to shore and then I can save, I think. And yeah, that's, that's what we'll do tomorrow. And this is where I'll end things today, obviously. <laughs> As always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Witcher 3 video.